Hi, it's Colleen with Rope and Resellers, and here is my weekly update for the week of June 12th through June 18th, 2017. I only sold 10 things this week. First up, I had this uh, Cranston. It's a fabric panel, and you can make a little snowman. I picked it up at a thrift store for 50 cents, sold for $9.99. Uh, 427 eBay, PayPal, fees, and shipping to me was 427 for a total of 522 That took eight months to sell. I sold some Lego base plates. So I've had these Legos sitting in my eBay closet for quite a while in the Mount Unlisted pile. And uh, I just pieced together some base plates to try to eke a little bit more money out of what I had. So I put five of these together. I sold them for $19.99. They were about $2. I paid $20 for this giant bin a couple years ago at a garage sale. $6.61 for eBay fees, PayPal, and shipping for a total profit of $11.38. And that only took one day. So sometimes Legos, if you price them right, can go really quickly. I sold this uh, serving casserole spoon. It looks smaller than it is. Um, it's a WM Rogers. It's just a silver plate. It's not anything super fancy, but it's pretty old. I sold it for $9.49. My store was on sale. Everything was off 5%. 50 cents at uh, an estate sale in a big lot of things. I bought a whole big box. 406 for fees and shipping for a total profit of $4.93, and that took 10 months. Most of my silverware flatware is long tail. I uh, sold this Ralph Lauren pillow case. Um, I bought it at a garage sale, the one in Coeur d'Alene. So here's that pipeline still working for me. $18.99 is what it sold for. A dollar um, is what I paid for it at the, at the garage sale. Uh, eBay shipping PayPal fees $5.36 for a total profit of $12.63 and that took two weeks to sell. Remember this little bear because he always sells well on whatever it is that he is on. There was one little gray stain kind of in the corner over here but other than that he um, he was in good shape. Uh, I sold this it's like a um, bureau scarf is what they call them table runner some people use them for this is a little too dainty for a table runner um, 1188 is what it sold for, even though it says 1250 because my store was on sale. It had some stains. It wasn't perfect. It was really pretty simple and cute. Um, I sold it. Uh, I bought it a dollar twenty-five at a thrift store. Four thirty-four for eBay fees and shipping and PayPal for a total profit of six twenty-nine, and that took thirteen months to sell. These are pants I picked up at a thrift store for a buck. Um, I actually bought them for myself, but they didn't look very good on me, so I sold them for eleven thirty nine, uh, four thirty four for shipping, PayPal, eBay fees for a total profit of six dollars and five cents. That took two months. Here's another W M Rogers. This is out of another estate sale lot. Sold it for nine forty nine. It cost me $3. Each item, I've spent $40 on this big um, box of silverware, flatware. And uh, so I figured each item cost me a dollar. There was about 40 things in there, so this actually cost me $3. Um, I paid four oh six in fees and shipping for not much profit. $2.43, and it took a month. Other things in there have sold, and they've they've actually made all the money pretty much back at this point. Um, these are folding honeycomb, um, is what they're called, foil Christmas decorations. They're actually really pretty cool. Um, I don't even know if I showed them folded. But anyway, uh, they're from like the 60s probably. That one was really cool. Here they are. So they look like this. And they were just in a box that I bought at an auction and I was actually going to toss them and then I kind of looked it up and this is something people are into. It was made in Japan. So yeah, 70s, 60s, 70s. Um, even that one, you don't even need to think about it as Christmas for, sh for sure. 
Anyway, that sold for twenty three seventy four twenty five cents is what all of this cost me because it was a big box lot. Six dollars forty eight cents for shipping and fees for a total profit of seventeen oh one, and that took three weeks to sell. I sold uh, this Lego. This is out of that bin um, that the other ones came out of that I listed last week. I sold it for twenty five dollars. I took a best offer. I don't know why I had best offer on that, but it, I don't know, $25 seemed like a good deal at that point because I hadn't sold anything all week. So I spent $2 for all of this, $3.74 for shipping and fees. I'm not sure why there was no eBay fees or PayPal fees included in this. I just got this off of eBay, so it, that actually may go up. But uh, $19.26 is total profit, and that took four days to sell. And the last thing was this Harry Potter chess set that was sitting on my daughter's floor for a very long time. I picked it up at a garage, at a uh, thrift store at Goodwill ages ago, and uh, we were cleaning out a room, and I was like, do you really want this still? You never play chess. So she gave it to me to sell, $18.99. They paid shipping for a total of $28.49. Like I said, it cost me $4 at Goodwill, $12.09 in shipping and fees uh, for a total profit of $12.40. And that took one month to sell. Of course, my younger daughter, as soon as she saw it, she got a little sad. And I told her it was just collecting dust and it would do the same thing in her room. So it was out of here. Anyway, uh, let's look at the numbers. 158.95 is what I collected for all items. I know, grim. Uh, 168.45 total. That's what I tell my husband. And eBay shows me 15.50 for cost of goods, 55.35 for fees and shipping. For a total profit, ouch, of $97.60. Uh, I did manage to sell a couple shirts on merch, Amazon merch, the t-shirt design thing, and that was $41.21, and that's looking pretty good. For a total profit of the week, $138.81. Don't fret, it's going to get better. Okay, so pretty grim. Uh, that's about the worst I've done in a long time. It's not it's still as... as poor as I did last year this time, but it is not as good as I was doing last month, obviously. So, um, but all I do is think about listing for quarter four and taking this slow time where I don't have to pack a ton of things and trying to get it organized for Q4 because that's where you make the most money. So I um, was trying to come up with a tip and I guess my kids were kind of not driving me crazy. I love my children, but uh, they are high need when they're home. So I thought, well, I could keep them busy and they want to earn money because they're getting to be teenagers and they want stuff. So I have started putting them to work. And so my tip for the week is if you have kids at home, try to get them involved in your business, either helping you ship or what I've found to do. Last summer, I had my son taking pictures for me and I got a lot of pictures of clouds floating by and the dog and the cat and his favorite video stuff. And there was a lot of other stuff in there. He couldn't really stay focused. But if I found the other day when I made him work with me, if he just operated the camera because he's really good at focusing, he's really... Um, he's really picky that way like me. So anyway, if I had him focus on, on focusing, focus on focusing the camera, then I could rearrange the clothing or Legos or whatever I'm taking pictures of. And instead of running back and forth to my camera, I could just have him do it. That way we entertained each other and we got through what would normally take me, I mean, literally three hours we got done in about an hour. So it went a whole lot faster for me. Neither one of us was really distracted. We were really motivated just to get it done. And it was awesome. So uh, if you have kids at home, try to work them into your business somehow. Or if you have, if you don't have kids, then you can go to the local high school. And I know a lot of these kids are looking for just an under-the-table job. And maybe some of them aren't really interested in babysitting or working at a summer camp with other kids. That's not really their thing, but maybe there's some techie guy or you could teach them how to do eBay. So I would reach out to the high school and see if they have a list of students looking for jobs or you could post something like in your local paper or on Facebook or tell your coworkers or friends um, 
that you're looking for a teenager to help you out over the summer and then just really bulk up your store because it'll start going down starting in about September. People start buying stuff. So just think ahead and this could really help you add to your store. So uh, with that, I'm sorry I'm late. We were out of town for a few days having a little end of school year celebration. We went to some hot, hot springs in Wyoming and um, I was gone. So I'm back and my sales reflect that I was gone. So now it's time to get busy and I hope you are too. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.